Hello. Today we are going to talk about bubbly lamp. What are the common cause of bubbly lamp? Here, there are five most common of the cause of bubbly lamp in what we usually meet every day. The first one is pulmonary interstitial emphysema, congenital pulmonary airway malformation, congenital diaphragmatic hernia, chronic lung disease of prematurity, and cystic fibrosis. First case is the AP radiograph of three day old premature who is on mechanical ventilation. So, what we see here is the bubble air lucency. Mostly, we see in the upper zone of black lung. And also we see some of them in the right upper lung also. Beside that, we also see the pneumothorax well seen in the left lung base. And we see the abnormal portion of the e-tissue that we need to pull out at least 0 0.5 to 1 cm and we see the left chest tube which is also needed to reposition the chest tube is more likely is inserted for remove the free air from the clara. And we also see the granular opacity mostly well seen in the right lung. But actually, it is, but actually, yeah, it, it, it present in both lung. And if we see the mediastinum and the heart are shifted to the right side, so we mean that it, it is the sign of tension pneumothorax, which is on going chest train. That is fine. So our finding is indicated for Interstitial emphysema with complication of the pneumothorax. Following HMD, who is on ventilation. So here is the CT chest, non-contrast enhanced. Also, so local of air infiltrating through the left lung, interstitial space, which is consistent with pulmonary interstitial emphysema. That is because of 
barotrauma from mechanical ventilation. Is another case. Also the case of premature newborn can be a respiratory distress. So the H ray so diffuse probably lung apparent which we can see in whole lung from upper to bottom make with reticular and cystic apparent and some uh, reticular pattern. All of these are consistent with pulmonary interstitial emphysema. In the sitting of ventilated neonate. Here's another case. We see a lot of probably bubbly air appearance in the left lung and the patient is on ventilation which is the cause of uh, this appearance in the ventilated premature neonate. So it is the kind of pulmonary interstitial emphysema. And it can be asymmetric and it can be symmetric according to the which side is most common affected by barrel. Trauma. So here another case of prematurity who has only right side bubbly apparent and in the left side is presented with Poor aeration or hypo aeration with granular pasty. And airborne program. So this apparent also indicated for pulmonary intentional physma. We started in the right line. So now we look closely what is the pulmonary interstitial emphysema. So the definition, first one is most common happen in premature neonate. The background lung disease plus barotrauma from mechanical ventilation leading to alveolar rupture with air leak into the interstitium so that is the visual pathology of the pulmonary interstitial emphysema so what we what we can find in the imaging so the first sign is reticular and cystic apparent which can rapidly develop between a radiograph. I mean, first radiograph can be subtle apparent, 
And then second will be more obviously according to the situation or the clinical develop to be more respiratory stress. And it can be bilateral, unilateral, low bar or segmental. It can be progressed to pneumomyasthenium and pneumothorax. And it may resolve quickly with change in ventilator setting. So here is the other case. So what we see here, this is the radiograph for one year old that also saw a bubbly air, a bubbly appearance in a right lower lung that caused mass effect on the PMA, PMA cause mass effect on the myasthenium and hemiaphragm And the most common that has apparent like this is congenital pulmonary airway malformation, which is which can lead to the secondary pulmonary hypoplasia. In the CT of contrast and hand, the same patient, so a large array lower lobe lesion with cystic of variable size. Here it is. A central solid appearing focus on a weak prominent vascular. This one was seen to arrive from the abdominal aorta. So it is, it, probably it's come from here. Here it's uh, abdominal aorta and come from here, goes through to here to here. Representing uh, sequestration component I mean, it can be uh, a hybrid lesion. So the same patient, but we, we use um, IP view in the coronal section. So this image so a right lower low multi-cystic lesion. With systemic arterial supply from a prominent tortuous vessel. From here, that arrive from the descending aorta. This apparent is consistent with hybrid lesion. Sorry, contain both congenital pulmonary airway malformation and bronchopulmonary sequestration component. Another case. Frontal radiograph, so it bubbly apparent of the left one. 
we may just name and add shift sheet to the right. This case is the case of Taiwan CPAM. So we come to talk about the detail about congenital pulmonary airway malformation. Previously, we known as cystic adenomatoid malformation. hematomatous proliferation of cystic and non-cystic bronchial-like tissue. At birth, communicate with abnormal cartilage and gland deficiency bronchial tree. According to stock uh, cl classification from zero to four, based on level of airway development, Maldevelopment from uh, proximal to distal. Thai zero is present less than 2%, so present with small lung with severe asina degenesis and large airway dysplasia, uniformly pattern. Taiwan present about 65%, mainly more than one macro size macrosis. The size is more than 2 cm, may have air free level, and Thai 2 is present around 10 to 15% with multiple small cysts. The size is from 0 0.5 to 2 cm. Thai 3 present around 5 to 8%. Innumerable microscopic cysts, apparent solid. And Thai 4 present around 10 to 15%. Light peripheral cysts, unclear if distinct from Taiwan pleuropulmonary blastoma. So in the imaging, what we have to find is fluid filled cysts at birth gradually filled with air. Taiwan and Tai two can look like unilateral bubbly lung. It has mass effect, so mediastinia, mediastinosis, compressive atelectasis. It also can coexist with other lung malformation, such as sequestration or bronchial adresia, so we call hybrid lesion. Image by CTA through cilia acid to look for systemic Adrenal supply. Risk of recurrent infection, small risk of malignancy development, so can be developed into bronchoalveolar carcinoma or rhabdomyosarcoma. myogas sarcoma. Another case, a P radiograph in a newborn. So a bubbly mass in the left hemidora, like we seen here. Which is consistent with bowel in a left conital diaphragmatic hernia. Note the abdomen causes of the enteric shoe and umbilical van catheter into the left hematorac, sorry, suggestive of stomach and liver herniation, respectively. 
another case, AP radiograph in newborn. So probably lucency in the left hematra also. Typical of bowel in the left congenital yaphragmatic hernia. The enteric sheep goes into the herniated stomach. This must affect with the hypoplastic aeration, left lung, and may just not sleep. The umbilical vena catheter is malpoison. So, like we see here. Here is another left bubbly, left lung bubbly apparent due to herniated gas field bowel. In the neonate who is on XMO, there is associated mass effect and pulmonary hypoplasia. Another case of awry bubbly lucency consistent with awry congenital jacrematic hernia containing bowel. And we see the umbilical catheter also cause into the right hemothorax due to the liver inhalation. Is PA radiograph in the same patient. Now he is at the 11 months old, so the radiograph quick progression of chronic lung disease with hyperinflated lung and persistent coarse interstitial opacity. This patient now has a trachostomy and continue to require mechanical ventilation. So the tail of the congenital yaphragmatic hernia. So most more common. Yaphragmatic hernia, we divide it into two groups. The first one we call botulic, which is presented around 90%. Posterior, lateral, left side around 80 to 90%, right side around 10 to 15, bilateral around less than 5%. Morgani, or we call ventral, only 10%. Retrosthenol. Imaging, what we found, we had to find is probably bowel-like lucency in hemothorax when stomach bowel are involved. Lucency in chest are continuous contiguous from abdomen, enteric shoot may cause into chest, associated mass effect on mediastinium, associated pulmonary hypoplasia and pulmonary hypertension, major prognostic factor, it is a major prognostic factor. Other association is cardiovascular, limb, central nerve, GI, GU, and genetic malform 
are normally in 25 to 50%. Here's another case of probably lung. There is about 6 weeks old, former 26 weeks gestational age, so hyperinflated lung with diffuse coarse reticular opacity and a cystic bulbilucency consistent with chronic lung disease of premature it Another case. Eight week old, formerly 24 weeks premature infant, supports reticular opacity with scatter, cystic appearing, bulbly lucency, consistent with chronic lung disease of premature also. A CT, lung contrast in hand, so hyper expanded lung. With diffuse cystic change. This 10 years old was a former premature neonate who developed severe chronic lung disease secondary to surfactant deficiency and mechanical ventilation with high oxygen concentration. So, what is the chronic? This is a chronic lung disease of premature. So chronic lung disease of premature is a bronchopulmonary dysplasia. A premature neonate with surfactant deficiency. Definition for Bronchopulmonary dysplasia is was born less than 32 weeks, just as no age, with oxygen dependency, more than 28 days with failure at 36 weeks postmenstrual age to maintain oxygen saturation more than 90% during trial of 21% in spite oxygen. Risk factor like fetal growth restriction, mechanical ventilation, high oxygen concentration, postnatal sepsis. So, in the image, what we have to find is a bulbly lung apparent begin around two weeks after birth with hyperinflation and air dripping, cystic and bubbly lucency, quartz band like opacity, which contain atrectasis and fibrosis. In modern views of adenatal steroid, exogenous Surfactant administration and reduced the ventilation oxygen intensity, leading to less inflammation and fibrosis. Firstly, diffuse hazy opacification focusing to cause interstitial opacity with air treating. Another condition. This is the PA radiograph in a 12-year-old with severe cystic fibrosis recovering from a recent acute exacerbation of a right lung pneumonia and empyema. So, period highlight bulb relucency from bronchiectasis. There is also peripronchial sickening with tiny nodular opacity from mucus plugging and a right pleural fusion and sickening.
contrast and hand CT, same patient. So cystic bronchiectasis with bronchial wall sickening, nodular mucus glugging, and a pleural effusion with sickening from the recent empire. Frontologograph of the 11 years old patient with cystic fibrosis. So, an upper low predominant wobbly lung appearance, secondary to cystic bronchiectasis, and bronchial wall sickening with overall hyperinflated lung. And lung enhanced CT, so a Hyper expanded lung with diffuse bronchiectasis, bronchial wall sickening, and mucus plugging. In this 14 years old child with cystic fibrosis. So, cystic fibrosis is the autosomal recessive multi system disorder, defect in gene. For cystic fibrosis, transmembrane conductant regulator CFTR and code protein of cell membrane chloride channel lead to exocrine gland dysfunction in lungs, liver, pancreas, GI tract. In the lungs, there is six secretion and impaired immunity. Lung are no more at birth than progressing to chronic mucoid impaction, leading to recurrent inflammation and infection, resulting in chronic structural lung damage. And then reinforce sync cycle. In the imaging, we can find bronchiectasis more common in the upper lobe and cystic form form can give bubbly lung appearance. We also find bronchial sickening, mucus plugging which is cause air draping with hypoperfusion, centri lopa, nodule, laopasty, mostly in the peripheral mucoid impacts and or infection inflammatory debris. In radiograph, uh, intensive for detection of early disease or for monitoring disease progression. CT and imaging a role, em emerging role of among, among I for surveillance. Degree of bronchiectasis and small airway disease are important biomarker of disease status. Lung chain can be independent of changes on pulmonary function test. So we just finished about more common cause of bubbly lung. And now we are going to talk about less common cause of bubbly lung. The first one is pneumatol cell. The second one is childhood interstitial lung disease. So the first case, we are going to talk about the pneumatol cell. So here is the graph. So bubble lung with multiple large cystic lucency bilaterally. The lucency represents pneumatol cell in these two weeks old with pneumonia and sepsis. Pneumatol cell frequently results spontaneously in young children. The CT non-contrast in coronal view, 
Soma, somatical light symbol cystic space scattered through the right lung. The cysts are consistent with tumor cell in these two 12 year old with a removed history of a severe staph philococcus pneumonia with cavitatory necrosis. What is pneumothorcell? It characteristic is symbol, cyst or cavity, may be secondary to trauma or infection or inflammation, can result spontaneously, especially in young children, may become superinfected when multiple can appear as bubbly line. So here is another case. This is the AP radiograph in a three months old with persistent tachypnea and pelotus right. So patchy ill-defined opacity with intersphere bubbly lucency. This appearance is non-specific and required for the workup. So in the city, the axial contrast enhanced CT in the same patient, so patchy geographic ground glass opacity with scattered air draping and or cystic appearing lesion, some of which persisted as discrete cysts on follow-up. Lung biopsy revealed pulmonary interstitial cryogenosis. Another case, Gonzalo de so hyper expansion and diffuse reticular interstitial opacification giving a fine bubbly appearance. Pathology show pulmonary fibrosis candidate to superten protein C deficiency. Is axial non enhanced CT, so a bubbly apparent of the lung with innumerable tiny cystic space. Surgical pathology in this 15 years or so, lymphocytic interstitial pneumonitis. Another axial non enhanced CT, so above the appearance of both lobe, lobe due to honeycombing and bronchiectasis. This is adolescent patient had interstitial lung disease can lead to a systemic non-specific mixed chronic negative tissue disorder. So what is a childhood interstitial lung disease? Sometimes we call diffuse parenchymal lung disease. It's common uncommon group of this disorder. It can be diagnosed when there is diffuse lung disease and other more common entirely have been excluded. Asthma primarily, ciliary dyskinesia, cystic fibrosis infection, recurrent aspiration, and it can be idiopathic or secondary to known disorder like infection, drug exposure, possible association with systemic disease, connective tissue disease, or vasculitis. In current classification in infant, it can be diffuse developmental disorder, avula grow abnormality, Separate dysfunction disorder and related to abnormality. 
specific condition of unknown or poorly understood etiology like neuroendocrine cell hyperplasia in infant, pulmonary interstitial glycogenosis. Limiting variable combination of air draping, ground glass opacity, consolidation, nodule cyst, and linear reticular opacity. PIG and supertan deficiency disorder most commonly have scattered air draping and or cystic change that can appear as papillon. Central ground glass opacity, especially of right middle lobe and lingala, are highly specific for NEAI. Besides an EAI, genetic testing or biopsy is often needed for ultimate diagnosis in infant. In the rare cause of poplar lung is emphysema, lung fungiolemiomatosis, pulmonary lung and cell histocytosis. The so first axial lung enhanced CT solid shoes, emphysema giving a poplar lung appearance. Noted that is true parenchymal destruction rather than lung cyst. The cause for this 16 years old patient and physema could not be determined. So, emphysema is alveolar destruction that leads to obstructive pulmonary disease. The rare in children can be idiopathic or seen with alpha 1 antitrypsin disease and Marfan syndrome. Panacina or panlobula due to alveolar destruction, more common in child patient. Central axina centrilobula due to terminal bronchial destruction seen in adult and smoker. Imaging hyperinflated lung with true, with true parenchymal destruction can mimic bubbly lung apparent. The CT, axial CT enhanced, so innumerable parenchymosis of brain size creating a bubbly lung appearance. In this female adolescent with tuberous sclerosis complex, appearance is consistent with lung fungal limeomatosis. Lung fungal limeomatosis, yeah, too tight. The tuberous sclerosis complex associated and sporadic proliferation of low grade neoplastic cell with smooth muscle likes and epithelial like population. Metastasis from Unknown primary tumor, possible perish uterine in origin and spread by lymphatic. Result in small airway and lymphatic obstruction. In the imaging, can be randomly distributed seen voices with normal intervening bronchima, CT minimum intensity projection. Is quite helpful for this visualization can be upper and peripheral lung nodule, multifocal micronodule pneumosis, a pneumocyte hyperplasia, can get chylateral effusion, cystic rupture can lead to pneumothorax. Another P area we grab in. 23 months old with respiratory stress, so above the appearance of lung, along with scattered cause of plasty. Uh, 
axial contrast intensity in the same patient. So, numerous erection lenses. There are also cavitary nodule. A biopsy of a cutaneous lesion confirmed the diagnosis of Lange hand cell histocytosis. Pulmonary Lange hand cell histocytosis is seen in 25% of children at the presentation of multistemic Lange hand cell histocytosis. Isolated PLCH represent less than 10% of single system lunch hand cell histocytosis in children. Pulmonary lunch hand cell histocytosis is a, cum cum a cumulation of lunch hand cell forming destructive bronchiolocentric granuloma. It may be a reactive response to unknown agent with a neoplastic monoclonal disease evident purpose. Often occur in setting of systemic lunch and sound histocytosis in children and like isolated pulmonary disease in adult smoke. In the meeting, lung involvement is diffuse. Costal phrenic angle as bare in adult, not in children. Centrilocular pulmonary nodule progress to ericlasis, aspect invasion, leading to cavitation and formation of six voices, resulting in sin voices, develop into confluent destructive parenchymosis chain, present with spontaneous pneumothra in 10 to 20% is the reference is from studies 